So this is a question I've gotten a lot over the past few years and I thought, what a great video to, I guess, answer that in. When people ask me that question in person, I say, hey, you should have just asked me to rant for 30 minutes. You know, because it's kind of the same thing. It gets a few chuckles or whatever. But uh, no, I, I, I think my whole love for Selena Gomez virtually started watching Wizards of Waverly Place. You know, she was uh, a main actor in that show and I was a main child watching that show. You know, we were around the same age. She was a little older, which made it a little hotter for me. I think we were both at those times and I don't want to speak for her, but I can, I think. You know, we were both experimenting, or at least I was in life, experimenting on the downstairs region and knowing, wow, this gets me excited, I would say, I don't know. I just knew there was something special there as I watched her on screen. I wish I could say that, uh, you know, I was a fan way back when she was doing Barney, but, uh, you know, at five years old, I wasn't a put so I didn't watch that show. Anyway, which is a Waverly Place definitely molded me to uh, becoming a man of Selena. Kind of ashamed to say it, at one point I guess I got a little too old to watch the show, or at least peers were giving me a hard time that I was watching the show so much and so fixated over Selena where I actually gave her up for about a year or two, which uh, is not a time in my life where I like to think about too much. It's like losing your love. Except I lost my love and it was Selena, so it's a little bit different than losing some regular love. Until, you know, one day I I refound her and it was actually on the gram, the Instagram, and uh, you know, maybe Facebook, she might have had a group on there that I was visiting or a couple fan pages, <laughs> won't, won't get that far, but uh, you know, I, re I revisited Selena at one point when we were both a little bit older and I saw that she was becoming the star and this is when my love really, really, really started to kind of take a mold of not crazy, but really loving. Like, I really love this girl at this point. It's great with Instagram. Uh, you see a little bit more of them. You, you see pictures of them every day, if they post every day, and she was doing that at one point and I loved it. And they do stories sometimes where you can kind of hear them talking as a regular person. And at that point, it was, it was crazy to me. I didn't only love the sassy aspect of what she was on Wizards of Waverly Place with her character. I started to love her actual her. You know, her, Selena herself. And, and I started to look at the very details of her. You know, she's got this <laughs> cute little mole above her uh, boob that I kind of like. I mean, if we started dating, I'd definitely get her to laser it off. I don't think it's that cool. And her music. Her music really got me too. It, there's just, there's no real answer to that question. The main answer is, I love her and I don't know why. And I think that is the best point of love. You're not really sure. You're not sure about the outcome. You're not sure about where it's gonna go or how it's gonna be. It's just love. Which is why I got a piece of the tattooed on me. Back in action, we're back in the action, f Alright man, so I'm showing you guys my new tattoo. I actually asked you guys in a recent video if you wanted to see it and a lot of you guys said yes down below way more than I expected. I also asked for thumbs up, which I'm gonna ask in this video too because I did a major goof for the boys with this tattoo and that got tons of thumbs up. So it showed me that I'm actually gonna show you guys this new tattoo I got in a full video. It's just one tattoo. It's gonna be a short video maybe, but I think it's dope. I think it's a dope tattoo and uh, I think everyone needs to see it. You know what I'm saying? Especially Selena, hopefully. Selena, if you're watching, I swear I'm not creepy. I just, uh, I might stalk you a little bit. Now, quick disclaimer, this tattoo is gonna be a bit graphic. It is actually infected right now because I think I did a little too much partying after I got the tattoo. Da -da 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 -da. I got a bad infection. I went to the doctor. She's like, wow, you're really lucky. We're gonna have to put you on IV if this was a day later to get that sh Oh, Bran, why are you showing the tattoo if it's not healed? Because I don't want to wear long sleeves every damn video waiting for this to heal so I can finally reveal it in a month. I hate long sleeves. It sucks. I feel constricted, so I'm doing it now. It looks bad at one point in the tattoo and all red and stuff. It's infected. I don't need comments about it. That's what it is. Now, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, it's got a little Selena Gomez in it. Not too much, but like the main focal point is, and it's only a piece of her, so if that makes sense. And I'll just go into the meaning of why I got it and stuff like that. I'm just going to show you very slowly the whole thing right here is that. Blow. You guys could probably already guess what part of Selena Gomez. And if you guys could see graphic warning 
right there. That's the infected part. It's like blistering. It's real bad. It's disgusting. It's getting all red here. But as y'all can see, the whole tattoo, it's really hard to tell, man. The whole tattoo is supposed to be like a hand like this with like an Illuminati eye in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the fingers right here. We got a thumb right there. It's kind of like that. And then we got the triangle right here. I think it's a really beautiful piece. I like my black and gray for sure. I only have a little bit of color right here. That's probably the only color I'll ever do. But there she is. There's a full thing right there. Now I'm going to tell you guys the meaning about it and uh, <laughs> what part Selena Gomez. Damn, that looks sick. If this was a red, it'd look a lot better right now. Now the main question, obviously, oh, why Illuminati? I, you loser. Because if y'all know me, and I've talked about it so many times in videos, especially with Chillin' with Name Brand, y'all know that I love like ghosts. I love Bigfoot. I believe in those heavily. I believe in aliens heavily and like conspiracies and stuff like that. One of the reasons why I got Marilyn Monroe tatted on me is because I love that point of time that she was living in. I loved her as like kind of a person within a lot of conspiracies with the whole like mafia stuff, the JFK stuff, all of that, everything she tied into around that point in time, which I love, was like still me kind of it, it, like infatuated with the whole like weird conspiracy stuff. I'm into it. What symbol shows that? This maybe. I'm not sure. It kind of shows Illuminati maybe, but to me it shows weird conspiracy crap. The triangle is like, yo, you're in a weird point of mind right now. That's what's dope. Got some trippy stuff all around it. It's like leaking out the eye. We got a hand holding it because I thought that was dope. I came to my tattoo artist. I was like, I got this idea of a hand holding like an eye. I'd never seen it anywhere and I want that. So that's what I got. Um, Now, there's really not much else to say about it. This is going to be a pretty short video. Obviously, <laughs> the part that's like, I like Easter eggs, you know what I mean? If you guys don't know what that is, it's like little hidden meanings and things. So you guys might know in like movies, they have like little Easter eggs. If you see it, you see it, you get it, that's cool. I like that type of stuff, but only if I see it and nobody else. Although I'm telling you guys over the internet, but generally with all my other tattoos, there are little Easter eggs that only I know about because they're like comedic. That's how my mind works. I like comedy stuff. Even if it, it, it sounds ridiculous as the meaning, that's what it is. Although I'm not really into meanings and tattoos. Like this one has no meaning whatsoever. I just love my art, but there's some comedic stuff in here as well that I got it to add. But anyway, this eye is Selena Gomez. <laughs> I did it because of a, it's kind of like a goof. I got Selena tatted in my lip when I was drunk in Vegas. I got an eye right here. It could be anyone's eye though, you know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter that much, but to me, that's hilarious. That I have Selena Gomez's eye tattooed on me. It's creepy as all hell, and that's what I think is so funny about it. You actually did a really, really good job with the detailing on it, and what I'm actually gonna get you guys to do is I'm gonna do a little giveaway. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna give away yet, um, but if you guys can find the picture online of this eye and send it to me over Instagram, my Instagram is going to be right here or comment it down below or whatever what the picture looks like. I'm going to find one of you guys and uh, I'm going to give you guys a little something something. For the first person that can figure out what that picture is, I thought that'd be funny. <laughs> the biggest tattoo possible literally focused around Selena Gomez's eye, which is like not something I'm actually going to look at when I'm like looking at the tattoo. It could be anyone's eye. It looks like a good eye for the piece. He involved it in, my artist, and I just thought, yo, for the goof and for the boys and for my YouTube and stuff like that, let's put Selena Gomez in. That's a tattoo. Melded in really, really well with this one on this part of my arm right there. It really goes. We still have to finish off this part right here and this part all up here because it took a lot, a lot of hours and he was getting a little tired. But yeah, man, there's a new tattoo. I'm kind of stoked we're doing this video now. I've been so freaking annoyed with having to wear long sleeves every video. Like I said, I hate it, but that's it. You guys let me know what you think of it down below. I dig the goof for the boys. I did the goof for me. The Selena Gomez eye in a triangle. One last look. Y'all can see the shading on the triangle. And I just like, actually he came up with the idea of a bunch of trippy stuff in the background because literally the eye and the Illuminati stuff is just trippy as it is. It's like, I don't believe a lot of conspiracies that I, that I, that I love, but I love them because they're some really cool things to think about. They might be real, they might not be, but it's really crazy for the noggin <laughs> to think about. So anyway, there she is, boys. Appreciate y'all for watching the new tattoo. Y'all got, I was, I was stoked to see how many of you guys were actually stoked to, uh, to see the new tattoo. So I'm stoked I actually got to do a video of it. And uh, maybe I'll do more, but this one I had to just because I put it in the Selena Gomez eye. I thought everyone needs to see that stuff. It's, it's hilarious. It's still not healed yet. It's still gonna, it's still gonna have some peeling to do and stuff like that. So it will look better in the future. Still a little shiny. It's got some dead skin on it. Da 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 da. Gross, but. 
there she is. Appreciate y'all for watching. Let me know down below, honestly, I don't even care your opinion. Let me know down below if it's good or bad. Do you guys like the tattoo? Do it. I'm a, I'm a strong dude, you know what I mean? But uh, if uh, too many of you guys say you don't like it, I might have to cut it off me, so don't do that. Okay, bye. <laughs>